Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today I'm going to show you how to make a candle arrangement with a little bit of a difference and also maybe with Christmas in mind uh, would be really nice as well. So what I've got is I found this at our wholesalers and it's a, a really nice metal candlestick. Now it's actually quite interesting because you could use it in different ways. Um, so that's also worth keeping in mind. You could use this as a stand to make another arrangement or we can use it as a candlestick. So candles just basically fit in no problem at all. So we've got our candlestick, we've got our candles, and the thing that I really want to use is this floral wire. Now this is an Oasis floral product, aluminium wire. It's 11 and a half meters by two millimeters. Uh, and this is like a, a flexible aluminium wire. So, it's quite nice when you take them out because it's always just absolutely perfect. But what we're going to do is we're just going to work this round and uh, I really want to just make it a bit mad. And at various points, we're going to put in a few curls, so like this. Uh, so I'm just using one of our test tubes because then that's going to make it really easy for slotting in. So once we get a little bit of volume here, then that's going to make life a little bit easier. So really just going around the test tube. creating like a detail within the wire that we're going to see. And this is the type of thing that you can make and have fun with. Um, and with this wire, you'll be able to reuse it again. You can kind of straighten it out. It's really a very useful product. As you can see, we're just building this up. Now do be careful with the test tubes. Um, the glass ones can break. I've had them break. Uh, they can break in your toolbox actually, which is a bit of a problem. So there are ones you can get now that are acrylic and the acrylic are actually a really good option if you can find the acrylic ones because they're just not gonna break at all. The other thing to remember when you're using a test tube is um, you probably want to get ones that have a lip. And why do you want that? Well, that is the thing that's going to stop them falling out. So having that lip on it is a good idea. But as you can see, this wire is just so flexible. Um, and we're just going to use the whole roll of wire. It's easier just to do that. So really we're making like a structure for holding some test tubes that are going to then hold our flowers. And what's quite nice is the wire is um, really good against the black, actually. So, just takes a little while to set up. And now I'm just looking to see. So we can see that things are kind of spaced out quite nicely. And we can just jiggle this about a little bit as well. And we can even come on itself. So the great thing with this is you could actually have them sitting up. You can do so much with a product like this. Um, now 
But straight away we're creating something that's a little bit more modern and a little bit interesting as well. So I can just lose the ends in there. So I'm looking at this and just seeing how it's sitting. So this is looking nice. I'm quite happy with that. So we'll put our candles in so we can really see what we're doing. And now we just need a few test tubes. So really with our test tubes, we can just push them in and let them catch. So these are really going to catch the light as well. Now, you can add as many test tubes as you like, as few as you like. The choice is really up to you. But what I want to do is just put them in at kind of different angles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And I just want these to be spaced out as well. Maybe six. Yeah, so this is looking good. We just want to give this a little wipe. Now, we've created our framework for our flowers. So the flowers I want to use are really gonna be these beautiful orchids. And we're just gonna break this down and use them really just as they are. So I don't want to have big lumps of flower. I think it's better that we just have a few and that they're really special and we can really see them. So maybe just a couple of heads back to back. Um, buying a plant and then cutting it down is actually a really good way of getting hold of uh, some exotic flowers. So don't feel that you have to buy a great big box full of orchids that you're not going to use if you're only needing one or two, then actually just buying a plant is the way to do it. And as you can see, we can split this down into little units. And it's as simple as that. So really, if you want to add a little bit more than you could, personally, I actually quite like it really simple and plain, but it gives you an idea of creating something a little bit different, a little bit more modern and with a Christmassy feel. So I hope you've enjoyed today's idea and a little bit of inspiration. And if you want to keep up to date with all our videos, click here to subscribe and we hope to see you soon.